Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to an extremely belated instalment in Tard and Dane's Indie Read Along. So, this is the book that I read in October. Uh, this is We Are Lucifer by Amy McLean. So, it's been, a, it's been a little while since I actually read it, but um, it did stick in the mind, fortunately. So, I'm going to go through and uh, give you some of my highlights, some of the bits that I tabbed out. Uh, Amy is also on BookTube, by the way, and she also does film reviews. Uh, she has some other books out as well. I'm going to read you the blurb here. In a peaceful thicket of Hampstead Heath, a recently bequeathed house awaits a new family. For Amber Quigley, however, there is no babe in the cradle. She is incomplete without a child to nest with in her ancestral home. Rocked by the perils of her tormented mind, Amber promises to herself that she will find a child of her own to love. Whatever it takes, no matter how daunting, she is determined to fill her rocking arms with her own baby. As she plots to find the family she craves, Amber vows to fight against any obstacles that barricade her from her child, no matter how many lives she may destroy along the way. So, from the title, We Are Lucifer, I kind of expected more sort of satanic stuff to happen, whereas this is more, um, more like a thriller, almost in the vein of stuff like Gone Girl and The Girl on the Train, that kind of stuff. Actually quite reminiscent of uh, B.A. Paris, in a way, because, um, because of the kind of the unhinged characters, I suppose. What's great about this is that Amy's writing about places that she knows as well. She is, if anything, a little too convincing at writing a crazy sort of protagonist. Basically, this main character, as is hinted from the blurb, um, she wants a baby and she will stop at nothing to get a baby. And uh, it get, shit gets real. So there's a scene in this where um, basically she takes, she takes some people hostage and to stop them from running away. Now, this is genius. To stop them from running away. She drills holes in their feet and then, like, loops metal through them like cuffs. <laughs> and, like, I mean, that's really messed up. But also, I was like, no, that, that would work. That, that makes sense. I mean, I always thought, I'd, you know, if I kidnapped somebody, I'd probably, you know, break their kneecaps. That would probably, probably do it. But, you know, drilling a hole through the feet and then putting a band of metal through it, that's going to make sure, isn't it? I like this bit here. So, uh, why did authors always feel compelled to write about characters who wrote books for a living? <coughs> Stephen King. <laughs> uh, yeah, It was only a fleeting question in Amber's mind, but it caused enough of a distraction to plunge her deeper into her own pit of procrastination. There's another little bit of a quote here that's, that's that feels fairly meaningful, and this is from Amber, the main character, from her therapist as well. And uh, she says, um, Life is to be lived. You write books, don't you? How can you possibly call yourself a writer if you don't experience what the world has to offer? There's no point in punishing yourself. Do something that will make you happy. This is a great opportunity for you to do something new. So go grab that freedom with both hands. And that's kind of actually what I've been trying to do in my life. Because I've realised, like, again, life is for living. And I, 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 you know, I think most writers have been guilty of spending too much time in front of the screen. And not actually going out and, and experiencing the real world, you know? So that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to say yes more as well. Like, yes, man, Danny Wallace. Shout out to Cats and Camera. I think she, I think it's Cats and Camera who likes that book. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this too much because, again, I, I said in a recent review, I'm trying to, uh, trying, to, trying to keep my reviews shorter and more to the point so that hopefully more people watch them and enjoy them and uh, decide whether or not to check out the books. So, rating right time, I'm going to give this... Uh, I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. It's uh, just short of a 4 for me. Um, there are a few kind of... Uh, it's hard to explain, but with the you can tell that you're reading an indie book, if that makes sense. Um, not necessarily in a bad way, but um, it does have that feel to it. At the same time, some of the scenes in it, like I said, you know, the, especially once the action really kicks off, it's just messed up and it's great. So... Um, so yeah, if you if you like a little bit of horror, it's also a bit of a thriller, a bit of suspense, all that kind of stuff, and you want to support an indie author, We Are Lucifer by Amy McLean. So for my next book in the indie read-along, in Tarden Dane's indie read-along, I'm going to be reading Osric Fingerbone and the Spring of Jacks by Michael Israel Jarvis. I've actually started reading it at the time of filming, so hopefully I can... I'm trying to catch back up again with my videos, so uh, I'm working on it. This is actually book two in a series by, again, an indie author. He's not on booktube, but um, he is a, a good friend of mine. And I'll, I'll read you the blurb. It goes, uh, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. London, 1865. 
Mayhem blossoms throughout the city as Osric struggles to correct the bloody sins of his past. His apprentice, Edward Sachs, has become difficult to guide. The boy murderer is 13 years old, grieving his sister's betrayal, and is full of anger, a dangerous combination. Eleanor, out for vengeance, makes her plans. But so too does a figure from the deeps of the Undercity. London is about to learn a new name as smoke rises and blood runs from the rooftops. So yeah, uh, should be good. I, I enjoyed the first book and I'm about halfway through it now. I I'm not enjoying it as much as the first book, but it's still pretty good. But that's a spoiler for the next one, so I will leave it at that. But anyway, on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you've read it or if you're going to be checking it out. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.